here Still the servants in the head or in the hand Buy yourself while you can Buy yourself, all the mob bands wax so like the garment My advice to the hundred, take what you can Only for a season to be delivered up like a lamb into the feast until we need him Yo, 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 what's up everybody, it's Uncle 7 I don't know why I always start laughing Probably because I'm clocked in Like I, I'm telling you, before I come and sit down in front of this camera It's a whole thing like I'm in the bed, I'm chilling, I'm watching YouTube or watching The Outer Limits or some, you know, story of the Bible or Will and Grace or something. And I'm literally in the bed like I get I get a, I get a ding time for a download and I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> like, I don't feel like this shit right now, but I'm here. You feel me? Just leave it the fuck alone, nigga. Just like a man. She pregnant, it like, do any day now, I'm sure. Me trying to get him some pussy from the cat. Pussy cat, cat pussy, whatever the fuck. Leave her alone, though, G. I'm not playing. I done already uh, laid hands on him, okay? She pregnant. Don't sniff her ass. Jeez Louise. How many of y'all out there have dealt with that kind of shit? Pregnant or not? Woman or not, you okay? <laughs> Shit, but let's get some. Let's get some thanks to the Most High God for bringing us here for this message this evening. This is the final message for the evening. Um, when I left out earlier, I said that I was gonna do another one when I came back because I did get back out. I went, um, I went for a little ride. It was nice. But thank you, Most High God, for bringing us here for this message. It's currently seven forty-two p.m. on. April 25th, 2024, okay? Heavy rain for the next... Listen, I prayed for rain, y'all. I be praying for rain. Like like it's a desert or some shit. But no, the rain is so... I love the rain. I love the overcast. I love... It's kind of like the snuggly kind of weather and shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I can dig it. Dig it or not, okay? So we're just going to put on some general collective energy here this evening. See what comes out. Um... A lot of a lot of uh, things are like swirling around. I guess I don't know. let's see what these cards have to say. The Santissima, the Santissima Muerta. Listen, I'm telling you, I'm gonna learn Spanish or French. I should probably uh, brush up on my Swahili. That would probably make a lot more sense too, since I speak it or used to. So I used to speak it fluently. Can you believe that? You know, this hat's a little. There we go. What's up, baby? I love you. I do. What's up, collective? All right. So, I I was really kind of tripping off of that reading from earlier though about the you know the abducted. I had I changed the title. I'm switching because I'm like I want people to get I want people to be like I got to I got to check into this because there's a lot of people out there. I'm wondering what the statistics are on uh, people who throughout the day go I must be adopted or somebody abducted me. You know what I'm saying? And, and and the fact of the matter is that to really kind of consider the fact that that has happened on such a massive scale. Do you know how many kids are probably out there that have been abducted that don't even know that they have been? That's deep shit. Things that make you go, hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know some of some of you, I just heard somebody go, so I wish somebody would come to kidnap this little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just heard somebody say, I wish somebody would come kidnap this little motherfucker. And you know what the funny shit about me hearing that is, is that obviously that is a, that's a, that's a, uh, that's foresight because this is pre-recorded. <laughs> Somebody's going to watch it go, I wish somebody, thinking, I wish somebody would come kidnap this little motherfucker. Man, oh man. <laughs> you got a badass kid. I'm just saying. Let's see. <laughs> Y'all done had a gummy though too, so it's a little, everything is a little kind of funny to me right now. I'm going to try to get through this before I get really fucked up because the gummies, yeah, they, they do their job. I sleep like a motherfucking baby, baby. Okay? Karma. You okay, baby? Yeah? Okay. I cut up some salmon and gave her some. She likes it. She always does. Trip does not like eating raw fish. 
Okay. He's an alley cat. He like he like rot rotten rotten fish. Okay, a lot of a lot of you women out there can understand that about y'all niggas, huh? To left you to go eat some rotten fish. Got a whole got a whole nice fresh piece of salmon out, you know. And he wanna go eat some motherfucking buffalo fish. Well that done had all them bones in them. You feel me? Okay. Get on with this bullshit trip. Thank you. All right, uh, Archangel Michael, please clear out the energy for this reading so I give a clear and concise message to the collective. I would appreciate that as well. But what do you want somebody, what does somebody need to know out there this evening, okay? What does somebody need to know? What's the overall energy or what sign are we talking about here? Judgment. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the number 20, whatever that means for you, you know? Justice for an earth angel, quite possibly, or for a Sagittarius. Do I want to keep it out? Yeah, there's some type of tower that's about to fall. An, unexpe an unexpected tower. So we got, so a tower is not always bad. Let's clarify that. A tower is just an unexpected, you know, uh, course of events or one event. Uh, but when we think about events, we think about big, huge kind of happenings. One second, you guys. I gotta turn. I feel like I gotta turn on a light or two. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So when we think about towers, what do you what do you comment comment down below? What do you think about towers? When you hear tower, what do you think? Comment in the chat. Whichever. When I'm watching it, which way is it? This way. So when you hear about, I think it's this way. Whatever. Fucking y'all know what I'm talking about here, right? But when you think about towers. What do you think when you hear think about towers? We always think about something very big and dramatic, yada, 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 that kind of thing. I'm really kind of picking up, though, that this tower is going to be um, a word. That's what I heard. Words, not something big and dramatic. OK, it's going to be some something spoken is what I just heard. OK, let me get an archetype card. out. I kind of feel like this is archetype worthy. Information. Somebody's about to ask somebody out on a date. Spirit saying that you should say yes. Okay. That's for somebody out there. You know who you are. You probably just got a text message or a DM. Or you know that you just met some, I don't know, but I just heard somebody's about to ask somebody out on a date, um, and you should say yes. Maybe that's the tower. We'll see. A word. It's going to change everything for an earth angel or a Sagittarius, okay? Um, can I get an uh, archetype card, please? Get an archetype card, please. You know what I just heard? <laughs> Sometimes if people would just shut the fuck up, wouldn't nobody know a damn thing. Okay? I just told you. I told you. A Don Juan. It fell out in the upright, too. What did I just say? Somebody going to be asking you out on a date. I forgot my glasses in the back. Spotlight your positive, seductive quality. So you might be getting a, uh, um, I can have, listen, I be, I don't surprise myself because I'm not going to, like I do all this. No, I, I am always verily, very, verily, very thoroughly, verily, very and thoroughly. I'm always verily surprised. I just made up another word, verily, okay? I'm verily surprised and verily satisfied with how the divine responds to people with gifts through these cards because i just talked didn't i just say somebody gonna ask you out on a date get the fuck out of here y'all come on now y'all who don't believe in the divine who don't believe in people with gifts what the fuck kind of shit is wrong with these people okay somebody could be an engineer or could create things okay you could be you could be some type of engineer i just heard somebody could be genetically engineered so you might be fucking around with the the million dollar man. This man could have a lot of money, I just heard. 
or he could, like the million dollar man. I, you know, I've always kind of wondered that about the million dollar man, what they did with the nether regions. Like you would think that they would have drastically improved that part of him, but I don't, I never really, you know what, to be honest, I've never seen the show. Never. Mm -mm. Nope. Let's see what the, uh, the somebody, somebody's deck has to say. Now somebody's gonna, this person's gonna ask you out on a date. Or you could be the one asking somebody out on a date, okay? Is it going to be a surprise or is it going to be a tower? Shit, okay. God bumps. Somebody is a Pisces or is very psychic, okay? Somebody's definitely a motherfucking Pisces. It, it came out. Really, spirit? I thought this was going to go a different way. All right, so this doesn't mean that this person's doing this because the Don Juan did fall out in the upright, but somebody's doing magic on you and somebody's a warlock, okay? There could be two motherfuckers doing this shit. Somebody's a Libra and a Gemini, okay? Because somebody got a really big problem with you. Somebody's a Leo. Okay, that's a lot right there. We're not going to take those. But somebody's obviously, somebody's about to get a new job too, though. So you could be meeting this person at your job, okay? At your new job. But so what do we know? So somebody's about to ask you out on a date or somebody. Well, no, let's not say that because it hasn't come out yet. I forgot my red ring back in the back, too. I told you I was turning in for the night. And then I remembered I had to come back on. I got the notification. So Leo, Libra, Gemini and two Pisces. So Pisces. So what this could really mean is that we have two people here that it could be psychic or two Pisces. Um, but I like to consider Pisces kind of like Gemini's, except they're fish. So this is kind of like a, I feel like you two probably have been chasing each other. Not, you, you haven't been able to catch up with each other is what I just heard. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, chasing your tail or chasing that tail. You feel me? Okay. Cause ain't nothing wrong with that baby. Especially if it's some tail you want. Uh, that was some fucked up. That was some high uncle advice, okay? After uncle smokes a joint. But no, dead ass though. I mean, is there really something wrong with chasing somebody that you like? Or, you know, chasing some tail. Because, hey, sex is good for people. Sex, I mean, you know, I'm not finna go all into that shit. Yes, I can real quick. Sex is pretty good for people. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, we've all seen somebody we wanted to fuck. Okay? And if you're anything like a lot of other people I know, <laughs> you fuck the person you was following. I don't know anything about that. Okay? I'm a nice, wholesome earth angel. I don't know nothing about no damn sex. What is that anyway? Okay? Last time I had sex, I had a baby, and that was over 20-some years ago. I ain't had sex since. <laughs> Shit. Fucking scared. All right, so. But no, there's nothing wrong with pursuing something. There's nothing wrong with pursuing something that you want, no matter what it is. If it's in a high vibration, go for it. If it's in a bad vibration, go for it. Just understand that whichever way you go is what you're going to get back. You feel me? So, I mean, what do you guys think about that shit? I mean, like, it, well, about not even so much one night stands, but I mean, it does fall into the category of like one night stands. This is kind of veering off from the reading for a quick second. But what do you guys really think about that shit? Like one night stands. You guys think that's okay? Do you? I'll give you guys a minute or two to think about that shit real quick. One of y'all is a motherfucking slut though. <laughs> okay, all y'all niggas is sluts. No, okay, on some real shit though. So I do believe, okay, this is my thought about one night stands. First of all, the, the, more, the more spiritually mature you become, sophisticated, you realize that you can't spread yourself too thin. Uh, I also like to think that, you know, uh, you, you can be high vibing spiritually and have a sexual relationship with somebody. You don't need to be in a relationship with anybody. You just got to know that whoever the fuck that person slept with, if they're sleeping with multiple people, you're also exchanging energies with that people, with those persons too. You feel me? So it's kind of like being responsible with your energy. But I mean, I feel like some certain sexual connections need to happen for people. Not everybody, 
Don't take that advice the wrong way and don't take me as being no whore for saying that. But it's the truth, though. There's certain kind of kundalini kind of energies or, or sometimes you know, sometimes you just need a good one to wake the fuck up. OK, is that OK to say? But you ain't, but you're not going to get that good one. You shouldn't be getting I, this is just my personal opinion. OK, because some people out here could be whole sex goddesses and that's what they do. I ain't knocking that shit. But for the average motherfucking spiritual person. You shouldn't be walking around fucking everything walking. You just shouldn't. And you shouldn't be having sex with more than one person at the same time. I'm just saying. All right. So back on track here. Somebody got a really big problem with, 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 with the fact that these two people are going to. So somebody got a. I'm, you know what I'm actually picking up, though? I'm picking up that there are multiple people that have a problem with this person asking you out on a date. This person could. I, I just really heard the worst. Not the worst thing, but I just really heard that this Don Juan could really be a warlock. Okay, or one of y'all motherfuckers is. So it's kind of like dark and light. Maybe that's why everybody got a problem with it. But somebody's doing magic over this union. Whoever's got a really big problem with that. Uh, there's three people, a Gemini, a Libra, and a Leo. Take the energy as it resonates. Somebody's a warlock. I'm picking up on the fact that this Don Juan is a warlock though. So we're talking about Buffy and angel shit again. Let's see what comes out here. Okay. I just really kind of feel like people just need to mind their motherfucking business, man. If an angel and a demon want to get together, they should be able to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because nine times out of ten, if you get an angel and a demon that fall in love with each other, like not, not the angel and demon shit that we're used to. That's angel devil shit okay but like i've always said all demons aren't bad demons some demons are just born into demon bloodlines that doesn't mean they want to be demons you know what i'm saying it's like a person growing up around a bunch of racists they may be a racist for a little bit because that's what they grow up with but then they realize like wake up one day and like okay so i do come from a bunch of racist fucks but i might want you know once you go black type shit you never go back type shit that's what i just heard so this person this could be an interracial relationship okay let's see what goes on here I really just kind of feel like, you know, I just feel like that because I feel like we all have a, a lot. We all have a we all have sides of us that are dark. We should really kind of get to know our dark sides as well as our light sides. And just like there's just like there's a polarity. Demons have polarity too. all demons are not bad demons. All, all motherfucking light workers and earth angels ain't good all the way good either. OK. For realsies. Just like a light worker can flip the script and go to the dark side. I see a rat. Fucking scab. She got into a car wreck too. What did I say last week? I said I didn't wish it on her. I did say that. But her car all fucked up in the front. Too busy eating cheese while driving. <laughs> Gang stalking neighbors while driving. Too bitch too busy watching my YouTube video and got into a wreck. Okay. Let's get these cards out here. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Select the all options so that you know all my uploads upload. You feel me? Alright, let's get it. Can I get some energy for this over for this message, please? Thank you. Whoever it is got a little bit of change, baby. King of Pentacles. Let's get another couple of cards out here. That's another one. The moon. Yikes. It's just a title card. Let's see what comes out after that. You know what's weird is this. Okay, so it's the it's it's the it is the the high priestess card in the reverse to the sun card in reverse. Somebody's doing a lot of dark magic. And if I listen, if I this if this don't if the sun in the reverse to the to the high priest come on, come on, trip. Okay, thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. If if when this like if the high priestess in reverse comes out and then the sun comes out in reverse. 
<laughs> That's his dark magic. Somebody is reaching into the far recesses of their dark soul to do magic. They did it yesterday with the moon here. Somebody with a bunch of money out of these fucking assholes. Okay. Some, some Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy that has a lot of money, maybe runs a business. Last night did some moon magic. Dark ass moon magic to stop this union. To stop this person from asking you out on a date is what I heard. Clarify this King of Pentacles energy. Let me get. Who is this King of Pentacles? Because, um. Who is the King of Pentacles? <laughs> Somebody selling dick or ass or buys it. I'm hearing that this person. Um, what did I say? Somebody going to ask you out on a date. Oh, damn. I was really hoping that that's not what this was. This is this person about to ask you out on a date. I tried, y'all. I really, really tried. I really, really fucking tried. I really tried. I did. Damn. And this motherfucker spying on you, too. Damn, I tried y'all. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I had set the whole stage up for a nice little kind of shit. You know, don't don't throw away everything that I said though. You know what I'm saying? But this motherfucker is a whole scab. He a scab. Oh shit. I don't even want to do this rest of this reading no more. I really don't. I'm disappointed, y'all. Oh hell no. Nah. This dude's a fucking asshole, G. <sighs> Shit. We got the moon to the hermit. Let me get one for the dark magic, okay? Oh, man. Oh, that's the wrong way. Shit. I really do. Now I'm all pissed off and shit. And look, right at the top of the deck is a damn devil. This motherfucker is horrible. This person did the magic all alone. This person is a fucking dink. This person is a war lock. Enter G, okay? This is a war fucking lock. He needs no one else to do this magic. You could be a Pisces or psychic as fuck. I'm, I'm like, I'm really kind of over it now. But I got to keep going. You could be a Gemini, Libra, or Leo. Or it, it, whatever. Let's see what comes out. But this person's a whole scab. A whole scab. And he's somebody's baby daddy. And he got kids with the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. That he can't even see. He got kids that he can't even see. Okay? Or he's being or 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 you no, I don't even I don't even really feel like I feel like maybe you do know of this person. I feel like maybe you do know this person because of that whole Pisces thing with the fish as I ch was channeling. This person could drive a motorcycle. <sighs> oh my god. But I feel like maybe you do know who this person is. Maybe you have been playing like a little like a little kind of flirt shit with him. You may be wondering when this person's gonna ask you out on a date. The card came out, somebody gonna ask you out on a date. I can't make this shit up. Now, okay. I'm not gonna take okay, so check it out. I'm just giving you what the cards say. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy with the Two of Swords. This could mean somebody being blocked from their kids, probably. That's what I heard when I first looked at it. Uh, but this person could be at a stalemate or a standstill. Okay? Or maybe this is the... Uh, I don't know, man. This is deep. But check it out. Somebody's being released from some type of third-party situation and dropped the burden. So now they got drama. Somebody from their karmic past that had them stuck, like I said, some lover, I can't make it up, who tried to ruin everything for them. This person could be a, an Aquarius. 
but they closed out a cycle with this with this person and is taking a leap of faith. Okay, so let me let's let's just say it. I was about to say now this person has maybe in the past had some very okay. So let's just say okay, let's sell an ass or dick part. Maybe this person is not selling ass or dick, but this just means that this person could have been a little bit of loose with the goose or the deuce, the balls. You feel me? So he's a Don Juan out here. This is Don Juan energy. This person could be younger than you as well. This person could have had some some whole ways in the past. This person is also part of some type of deep dark secret society or was or was married, had a failed marriage or a failed relationship. But this talks about marriage. The higher fund does. This person had a failed union with somebody because they were being juggled or they juggled somebody else, but they were very codependent. I just in a, in a toxic masculine energy. So this person was very much a tra trauma bonding. And whoever this person's a baby mama is, I'm telling you now, this bitch is bad motherfucking news. Whoever the fuck he was married to, he could possibly even still live with this bitch or used to. Spirit says that's the truth, and she took all his damn money. I can't make this shit up. He went broke dealing with this bitch. Okay. <laughs> Listen. This person calls him, and still, this one thing, this drama comes from. He wants to make this love offer to come towards you with the King of Cups, but he's been blocked or stuck. He was blocked or stuck. Couldn't move. He couldn't do it. And it's because of this bitch. I need help with this. I need help with that. The babies are sick. Blah, blah, blah. She's a liar. He's seeing through these illusions now about how slick this bitch is. Okay? Justice in the reverse. She took a bunch of money from him. Stole a bunch of money from him. Okay? Probably for his whole way. She did it over a long period of time too. Just siphoning energy. I'm telling you now. Spirit says that's the truth. Truth and clarity with the Queen of Swords here. He had to call the police on this imbalanced demonic energy. But, yep, he put it into it. Happy trails, okay? And don't give a fuck about doing it neither. Either. This motherfucker did some moon magic yesterday, though. I mean, you're going to have to... I don't know what kind of... We're going to figure out what kind of moon magic he did, but I hope that gives you a little bit of backstory because that's what the card said anyway. I told you somebody was going to ask y'all that. When y'all going to start believing me? Okay, so here we go. So maybe he wasn't selling ass and dick. Okay? But whatever he was doing with that ass and that dick, I need to stop saying that. I'm sure probably. Otherwise, somebody's going to, you know, report the video. Oh, my God. Fucking Karen and shit. But whatever he was doing with his private, his gen, his nether regions, he was very loose with it at one point in time. But who hasn't? I mean, there's a lot of people that can say I haven't, which is fine. But at some point in our life, we have all, we've all been, um, especially if this person's younger than you, soil in the royal oaks, or just, you know, if you're good looking, this person got a lot of money and shit, get a lot of, you know, things thrown at them. As long as a person wants this, this person obviously closed out a cycle to come towards you. There's these those signs though don't want this to happen. I'm telling you, this person had an awakening. The hangman. This person, okay, so this person possibly went. I'm telling you, this motherfucker is a warlock though. He can do it. So you, this motherfucker do some magic. Okay, this person went within. Maybe under the moon, but I'm picking up this person did some magic by themselves or they divinated or something and they had some type of awakening. I'm picking up on the fact this person has been spying on you, though. So maybe this person has been scrying, maybe looking into some type of like crystal ball or something like that. And they got an awakening about you. OK. The four of swords is here. They came to the awakening. They want to have sex. They want to lay you down. OK. This dark high priest, I'm trying to tell you to hire find the reverse. <laughs> this nigga's a whole demon. King of Wands in the reverse, I can't make it up. <laughs> Shit. This could be why you turned this, listen, you turned this person down before in the past, or you about to. You're about to. That's what it says. The star that would be you. It says you're going you're gonna to turn down the offer. Or maybe this person passed you up in the past. Clarify the four cups. Huh. I 
wonder if this person turned you down in the past. Because I'm telling you that they awakened to something. Clarify the uh, the star to the four of cups. This person's spying on you. This person turned turned you down before. Yeah, they did. Or or dismiss something. They or they thought that they missed an opportunity or they missed an opportunity with you in the past. So they're holding themselves accountable this time. Okay? That's why they're gonna ask you out on a date. They missed something. They maybe, maybe, maybe there was a time that they tried to holler at you and you was involved with somebody. But either either way it goes, there was a missed opportunity for something in the past. But I do feel like with the two Pisces energies out here, that you got the two fish. I just that's what I just heard. Okay? But they're holding themselves accountable. Clarify the seven of swords. I'll tell you, for their whole ass ways. Maybe that's the reason why you didn't. Maybe didn't. Maybe y'all dealt with each other before. I don't know. Maybe y'all did have a one night stand. Maybe y'all had something that was very much in and in and out. If this motherfucker don't quit riding around here on that goddamn motorcycle, who am I? Uh, uh, What's the name of that that movie uh, with the police officers <laughs> about the motherfuckers in police academy? Yeah, who am I? Like top flight security in the neighborhood and shit. Can't nobody can't nobody ride no motorcycle or no scooters around this bitch. But maybe y'all did have uh, some type of connection before. I don't know. But this person has held themselves accountable. Maybe they didn't step to you. Maybe they tried to holler at you and you was like, nah, dude, because maybe they you could you was familiar with their reputation possibly. I mean, you know this person, though. You know of this person or you know this person. But I'm really picking up on the fact with the two fish, the, the, the cat and mouse game, the, the chasing, that you two have had some type of interaction before. Whether that be physical, online, I don't know. But this person has held themselves accountable for their in and out energy. Okay? So maybe that's the reason why either they felt like you would not accept their cup. Maybe they felt like you would pour their cup out. Maybe that's the reason why they didn't step to you before. Okay, that could be it. Cause they were I can't make it up. The karm they they were this person has taken themselves accountable from their for their karmic energy from the past. They've changed, is what I just heard. Okay? This motherfucker still got a little bit of Don Juan left in him though. You know what I'm saying? Like he could still he'll still come in and talk them talk them draws right up off y'all ass. That's what I just heard. So that's the plan for his ass. Okay. I'm just telling you. He about this person's coming in to fuck. By any means necessary. Damn it. The fool at the bottom of the deck in the... What? The fool at the bottom of the deck in the reverse. I don't know, man. <sighs> to the three of wands. Spirit saying ain't nothing gonna come of this shit if you take this risk. But maybe you don't care. Maybe, maybe you're about this life. Maybe that's what you want to do. And I'm not knocking it, shit. I mean... It seemed like you like them from the energy I'm picking up on. Like dead ass. Let's get to this dark magic with this devil. Okay? Who's doing dark magic? Somebody doing dark magic on this shit. Probably the bitch you left behind or the nigga you left behind, whoever the fuck. They can apply the roses they fit. Man, woman, don't matter. It's all energy anyway. But somebody. No, I'm telling you, this is a nigga though. It's a whole nigga. Okay? Damn. Let's try to give a nigga a little bit of credit. If it ain't, it's like a list of side effects and shit. Okay? Damn. But if you're just trying to have fun, hey, have fun with this earth school. That's what I'm saying. Clarify the devil. Somebody did dark magic, though. Somebody's a demon. I mean, maybe this person's hiding the fact that they're a demon. There we go. Son in the reverse to the high priestess. This person may be hiding the fact that they're a demon. Yep, I can't make it up. They're hiding the fact that they're a demon. <laughs> Why they come and make you this offer? They're hiding the fact that they're a demon. They're gonna they're not gonna tell you the truth. Listen, and you're gonna be <sighs> telling you. The nine of cups. This person is okay with this shit too. They're not gonna tell you, but now you know. Whoever whoever this resonates with. 
Spirit saying you're going to... There's a lot of drama coming up, coming with this person. Clarify the Nine of Cups. Spirit... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, listen. This partnership is not going to go anywhere. We got the Two of Cups in the reverse to the Two of Wands in the reverse. It ain't going to go nowhere. Let me roll my last card. Shit. Three, four, five on the clock. Confirmation. Somebody's birthday could be August 15th. Somebody could have braids in their head. Going nowhere fast. I cannot make this shit up. <laughs> As a reader. <laughs> As a reader. There's a moment. I told you what I say about these motorcycles. I ain't no motherfucking fool. We all got these motherfuckers circling around us. I'm telling you we have. But as, as a reader, there are anybody else out there can vibe with this. When you're giving somebody a reading or you're doing a reading, what do you do? You sit and wonder, is the spirit trying to tell me something? You know what I'm saying? I don't think so. I think niggas already know. Don't step my motherfucking way with that bullshit. You gonna get you gonna you gonna get ate the fuck up and spit the fuck out. You feel me? After all the stories I don't told about niggas coming along that been hoes trying to get me sick. You think you got a motherfucking chance? Hi, I'm a seer. I see the shit. That's why I'm telling somebody else about y'all whole ass niggas. I ain't gonna say that about this person though. But they a scab for not telling you the truth. Okay? They're a whole motherfucking scab. Final message. Illusions, they lying. Spirit saying don't do it to the chariot in the reverse to save yourself from getting trapped in the middle. So the sun uses this again. Again, you're being the truth is being exposed about this lover. Okay? We got the uh, we're gonna go through this again. This person's only gonna give you pipe dreams and illusions. Okay, you're gonna be all in your head about it. Okay? Or if you're thinking about this person, spirit is saying you better fucking stop right now. Okay, stop thinking about this person. Get out of your head. Stop being trapped in your head about this person because things are being revealed to you. And that's a yes about this love relationship. Gemini energy again. Things are being revealed to you. Gemini, you could be a Gemini. Okay. Final message, please. I still think that you're going to do it, though. I think that that's what this means. Spirit's, Spirit's already warning you. But this kind of says that you're going to do it. The sun to the ace of pentacles to the lovers, that says yes all damn day. <laughs> I mean, I ain't mad at you. But don't come back around here. Don't let me channel a message about how this warlock done ate your ass up. Okay? It could work, though. But if you're just trying to have fun... By all means, do what you do. Confirmation. You're just trying to have fun too? I ain't mad at you. But don't be falling in love with the dick. Demon dick is something horrible. I can't make it up. We got the Ten of Swords. Right as I said that. And followed by the Five of Wands, baby. You're going to have a lot of drama. Okay? Because you ain't learned a goddamn thing with the Page of Swords here. Confirmation. You're still going to do this shit. The Nine of Cups. You're still going to move forward with it. Yep, because manipulation, baby. Look at you manifested this. You want this. So, but you've been warned. You've been warned. This is a whole unevenly yoked situation with the six of pentacles in the in the uh, in the reverse. Sex or not. You know, this this is a lesson. This is a lesson. Listen, blank card. That's what that's exactly what you're gonna be looking like. That's exactly what uh he gonna be looking like when you hit him up afterwards. Like, who is this bitch? <laughs> okay, I don't know him or her. Because this nigga's about his coin. He's holding himself accountable. But you know what? But you know what I'm saying though? It's just like real deal. I really feel like the moon is there too. I really feel like this person, maybe this person has tried to get with you before. Like maybe y'all be flirting and you're like, nah, boy, you you really ain't you really ain't um mature enough or something like that. I don't know. I just really kind of feel like this person realizes that why you don't want to 
deal with them or why you turned them down, but y'all might still flirt or some shit. But the one thing that I can't get out of what I keep hearing is the fact that this nigga is only, he's holding himself accountable just to come in and conquer. Because when I looked at the King of Pentacles card, I was about to say all he does is come conquer, uh, you know, kill, comes to kill, kills, destroy, or whatever the fuck the saying is. I done had a gummy. Okay? I just, I just, I don't know. I can't tell you what to do because you're wrong. What would I do? Depending on how old I am. I mean, how old are you? What would I do at this age now? Wouldn't do it at all. Back in my 20s, probably would have did it. Okay? Everybody got to learn. I'm just keeping it 100. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously something's there. And not to say, you know, everybody grows. This is somebody that's younger. So you could possibly be young like this person too. Okay? But just know, like, if you're going to get with somebody much younger than you, then you should already know what they're going to be on, especially if it's under the age of, I'd say, 35. You know, if somebody's, if a man is under the age of 35 years old, you can't really expect the fact that this person's going to be very committal, especially if they're not already committed. If they're already committed, then you don't need to be dealing with the motherfucker. You feel me? But once a nigga gets to be like 40 years old, some of us anyways, she get old. You know what I'm saying? We, we already know better. Ain't going to be too many games. Motherfuckers really be too tired to play games and too tired to even come up with lies. But you get a nigga under 40 years old all day long. Baby, I'm telling you. Okay? Especially if they trying to fuck. One last card. Spirit saying, in order to avoid crying over spilled milk, you may just want to go on to something else. Six of six of swords. Because this person, this king of swords, is, there's something, this person is not being going to be honest with you about who they are. And it's bad news. Okay? Yep, spirit saying, block that contact. Or if you're going to do it, you better wrap it up. Okay? That's a protection card. Yeah. If you're going to use your poor judgment, even after you got this, if you're going to make the decision to do something horrible, at least wrap it up with this nigga. That's the seven. Wrap it up. Protect yourself. If you're going to use your poor judgment, if you're going to make the, if you, if you know you're going to do something against your better judgment, you might as well be safe about it. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that shit. <laughs> One more card, please. <laughs> and I'm gone. <laughs> I'm going to bed. It's past my bedtime anyways. God sees everything. Okay. <laughs> That's what I, baby, you got the hangman in the reverse too. You finna be stuck like dickmatized. I just heard. Have fun. Have fun. Okay. Have fun. But God, just remember, God sees everything. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the end of this message. I'm closing out this reading. I'm going to take a cold shower with some bleach and some borax. Okay. The fuck? But I hope this message helps somebody or answers your questions. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Select the all options so that you know when all my uploads upload. You feel me? I'm your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. It's always love and light around this here, bitch. As always, take it easy. I love you to the moon and back. Good night, baby. Deuces. Deuces. Savage.